11. Good morning and welcome to our small, beautifully socially distanced, social bubble of an awards ceremony. And obviously this is my favourite day in the Conyers calendar and what we would be expecting today is that tonight, after school, you would all have gone to the uh, Baptist Church in Stockton We'd have had the band playing, we'd have had uh, music, your parents would have been there, all the teachers would have been there, and it would have been truly, truly celebratory. Now, obviously, in our COVID world, we can't do that, but you did so much amazing work up to lockdown, and in the virtual school, we decided that we were just going to keep going. We were just going to keep celebrating, keep enjoying um, and maintain those Conyers traditions. So it's lovely to be here on this special day. And this is our opportunity to celebrate what is really wonderful about Conyers. We're going to celebrate your achievements in the academic and sporting fields. And as I said, it has been a really strange year and we are living through unprecedented times. But you continued to flourish and amaze us in the virtual school. And we are really disappointed that one of the best things about the evening is that when we celebrate the year 11, the current year 12 awards, it provides year 11s with real inspiration about what can be achieved in this most crucial year of your education. We will be celebrating with the year 12s after school um, it, um, and awarding some of those big prizes that I would like you to hope for and aim for. Things like the Student Leadership Prize, the Community Prize, the Endeavour Prize, the Creative, you know, the, the big sports awards. You've got to go for those. But as I said, we'd achieved so much by lockdown that we are and through into the virtual school that we will be celebrating. So although this looks and feels really different, we are absolutely keeping our Conyers tradition going. What I'm going to have to ask you is, because we've only got a really small number of people, can you make your applause super enthusiastic? Because we are recording this event, okay? So we're recording it so that your parents can watch and also the photographs that are taken will be shared with your parents as well. So they can't be with us in the building, but they can share this at home. So I'm hoping, and we're going to put it on social media anyway, we're hoping that you're going to actually tell them all about it. So the first awards are the DH Heard Awards for Achievement. And these were created in 1925 in memory of David Henry Heard. And he was a governor at the school for more than 50 years. The first awards are the School Achievement Awards, and those, these go to the students who made a really great start to GCSE. Not necessarily the students getting the highest marks or the highest grades, but who have really worked hard, improved, or tried their best. Okay, so the first award goes to Arzu Ali. It does seem quite a long walk. The next one, Emily Bunting. Next one, Nathan Magnone. Well done. Next, Abby Saddington.
Well done. Finally, Matthew Shields. Brilliant. There is a special prize given for languages, for achievement in languages in year 10. And this year's Linguist Award winner is Leila Partington. And then we have the prize for maths with the maths challenge, best in school in the intermediate category, Obed Wise. So now we're going to move on to the sports awards and acknowledging those sportsmen and women whose sporting achievements have taken them beyond Conyers. And first is the national level. So a competing at a national level is an outstanding achievement. And in year 11, we had Tegan Foxton competing nationally in dance. Very well done. We'll look at our district representatives in sport. Our, so, so our athletes who've gone, gone beyond school level to represent the district. Um, our first winner can't be with us tonight. That was Jack Williams in football. So should we just give him a round of applause? And then in rugby, first Kieran Maynell. Also in rugby, Finlay Robinson. Representing the county in cricket, Thomas Payne. Also representing the county, this time in hockey, Lucy Murphy. And our last award is for regional representation in swimming, and that's Rujin Shokri. Well done. So there we have it. Very short and sweet. And I'm really sorry that you haven't had the chance to celebrate with um, the year 12s all of those major prizes but hopefully your tutors gave you a flavour of just what some of our year last year's year 11s achieved in um, 
Assembly last week. The key thing is that this is a really big year for you. We don't know what it holds, but you're going to have to really work hard and endeavour. And we absolutely, fingers crossed, I'm looking at Mrs. Patterson, hope that we will be able to celebrate properly next year in our usual fashion. But I need to thank, because this event spread out across the day, it's taken a huge amount of organisation. So I'd really, really like to thank Mr. Plows and Mrs. Patterson for all of the organisation, the trophies, the letters, getting all of this set up. I'd like to thank the tech team who are doing our amazing recordings that your parents can share. Have I said that once already? And Mr. Smith for um, his technical support and Mrs. Hudson for the photographs. So I'd like to thank everybody, but you should be really proud of yourselves. You've achieved an awful lot in what was a very difficult year. So well done. Give yourselves a round of applause.